Hey everybody, what's good? What's going on? JB here with another Cyber Insight video. Thanks for coming back to the channel and making it your new spot for cyber network knowledge. In today's video, I'm going to give you a 101 overview on port security. I'm going to talk about ways that it can be used to improve security in your network. I'm going to cover some of the common configurations that you would use to enable it. And we're going to look at troubleshooting port security events when they happen in your environment. But before we do that, go ahead and hit the like button. And if this is your first time on the channel, hit the subscription and notification bell. That way, whenever I drop any new videos, you don't miss out on any of the content. All right, let's talk about ways that we can improve your network security with port security. So let's talk about port security. Really, it's a very simple way to enable a configuration on a switch to limit the particular MAC addresses that are allowed to connect to a specific interface. If we look at the picture here, we see that on the switch, we have port security enabled on FA01, and it's only going to allow MAC address A to come through. Conversely, on FA02, it's only going to allow MAC address B to come in. And there's a few different ways that we can configure this. We can configure this in a way where we statically assign the MAC address, or we can use a configuration called sticky MAC, where the port actually learns the first MAC address that attempts to connect to it and then writes that into the configuration on the device. In either of these scenarios, once the specific MAC address is associated with the specific interface, any other MAC address isn't allowed to connect over that physical port. There are some other options that are allowed underneath the configurations to allow for different types of scenarios. So for instance, you can modify the amount of MAC addresses that you would allow over a specific interface. So if we were to change the configuration on FA01 and allow two MAC addresses to connect over it, then we could hypothetically configure it to allow both MAC address A and MAC address C to connect, but no other MAC addresses. One of the other configurations that's available to us is the action that's taken whenever there is any type of violation. The default action is to shut the port down. However, in environments where you might have some type of operational or negative operational impact that you're trying to avoid, you might use the restrict option instead, which would just allow MAC address A to continue to connect over the port, but it would restrict MAC address C. If we were to leave it to the default action, if MAC address C were attempt to physically connect to that port and send traffic, it would shut it down, thus limiting MAC address A to be able to connect. So let's take a look at what this actually looks like in real life when we go to actually implement it. So we have uh, a couple of different things going on over here. I have my computer set up with a 10.10.10.1 address, and it's connected to my switch over here. Uh, it's connected on uh, port FA101. So let's take a look and see how this looks at the moment. Okay, and we'll see that it's up and connected and it's going over VLAN 100. VLAN 100 on the switch is configured with its own IP address. So if we go into a, a show IP interface brief, we will see that VLAN 100 has a 10.10.10.2 address. If we do a show run, we can see that that should be a slash 24. just as it is over on the PC. So at the moment, I should be able to ping from my workstation to the IP address on the switch. So pinging from dot one to dot two. Okay, so that is with no port security enabled. Now let's say that I wanted to set up port security on this interface. Let's go ahead and implement port security on that interface and have it automatically learn the MAC address. So let's go ahead and configure port security on this particular interface. So it's interface FA101. We're going to go switch port, port security, and then switch port. 
port security, Mac address, sticky. Let's go ahead and make sure we can still ping. And we can. And we can do that. So then we'll go and take a look at a command that will show us which interfaces are configured for port security, the violation mode that's currently uh, configured on there, and the MAC address that's associated with uh, each interface. So that is show port hyphen security. And we see here that we have the interface and the one MAC address that's associated with it. So current count of one, no violations, and our security action is shut down, which is the default. Now, if we wanted to change that to restrict, as I mentioned before, restrict will allow uh, your approved device to connect, but anything else that gets plugged in, um, it will restrict that, but it won't take the interface into shutdown mode. We'll go back under interface FA101, port, port security, violation restrict. Do show port security. And we see now that the security action has changed from shutdown to restrict. Now let's say that we wanted to, instead of d using the sticky configuration, which automatically picked up the first MAC address, which connected, we wanted to actually set it to a particular MAC address manually. We will first need to remove the MAC address that's associated with this interface and remove the sticky configuration, and then we'll add in the manual configuration. Let's do a do show run, just so we can take a look and see what uh, the current configuration looks like. Okay, so you see we have sh uh, switch port port security, switch port port security violation restrict, switch port port security MAC address sticky, and switch port port security MAC address sticky and the appropriate MAC address. So we're going to set this all the way back to just switch port port security. We're going to leave the default violation to shut down, and then we're going to manually add in uh, a random MAC address, try to connect from my PC, and we'll see that it will shut the port down. So as we can see before, we had uh, a ping going continuously there. I just shut the interface down. I'm going to go ahead and add the port security commands onto that, re-enable the interface, and we're going to see that it's going to trip port security and shut the interface back down. See here the interface coming back up. Let's take a look at run show port. Do run show port security. And here we go. Port security violation detected, putting it into air disable state. And we see this here. Now, this would be something good if you have uh, centralized logging to set up some alerts whenever you get a port security violation that comes like this, that would be really, really useful. So let's take a look, show port security. Okay, and we see that we have one MAC address, one secure MAC address, one current address associated with the interface, and one violation for that with the action uh, shutdown. Now I'm gonna change the security action from shutdown to restrict. Let's go back under the interface, FA101, switch port, port security, violation, restrict. Maybe we'll do a no shut on the interface. And it is error disabled. And we'll see in doing a shut, no shut on that, changed it back to up. 
So I got rid of that error disabled state. However, if we go in and we look at the show port security, we should still see a violation there. Show port security. Yep, and here we go. Security violation occurred on that interface. And now you see, since it's not shutting the interface down, it's going to keep on doing it and increasing that counter over and over and over and over again. So let's end this continuous ping. Take a look at the MAC address table just for fun. And if you'll see what it did, it took the static MAC address that I put in the configuration and wrote it into the MAC address table. So if we go and clear port security, we're going to have a few different options here, configured or dynamic. Or sticky, we're just going to go all. And then we're going to go look at the interface here, and we're going to remove that off of there as well. All right, so we're going to go no, switch port, port security, no, switch port, port security, violation restrict. We should be able to ping the box again. And there we go. And our ping is working. So we kind of went over a few different ways that we could configure the port security there, whether we're going to do it uh, with the sticky, which automatically learns it, or with the, the static configuration. We covered different types of violation modes, whether it's restrict, which will allow the preferred MAC address to continue to communicate but block all the other ones, or the shutdown, which shuts down the, the whole interface altogether and blocks all communication. Also, the protect, which is similar to the restrict, but doesn't actually increment the violation count on the show port security command. Uh, we looked at some different commands that we could use to... Uh, take a look at what's going on with the port security. So looking at the configurations underneath the interfaces with the show run, looking at the show port security command itself, and looking at the show MAC address table command. Um, and likewise, you could always dig into the logs to take a look at the specific um, port security events that were coming through. So I think that should give you a pretty good 101 level breakdown of port security in ways that you can use it in your environment. All right, so that wraps up Port Security 101. We talked about what it is and how it will help improve the security in your environment, how to configure it, and how to troubleshoot it whenever you have any port security events actually on your network. As always, if you have any comments, drop them down below and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have any ideas on any future content that you want me to make videos on, drop those down below as well. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Let's go get at it. Be healthy, stay safe, and we'll talk soon. All right, take care.